Secretary for allowing me to have the opportunity to talk briefly about my 2007-2008 um, maybe women's basketball team. I've been told I only have 15 minutes. I don't know if I can do it all in 15 minutes, but I'll try. I'll do my best. Um, I guess the first thing is that, you know, uh, I'm really thrilled um, about this team. Um, I, I feel like um, the postseason appearance that uh, we were able to uh, achieve last season really gave them um, an idea of just how good they could be. Um, they started with that commitment to being even better over the summer. Um, the majority of the team was here this summer, and they worked extremely hard to get themselves ready for this season. And that was obvious when we started our preseason workouts. Um, and it definitely paid off, and it, it shows, it's showing in practice right now. We actually have a very veteran team. Um, I know I'll get a lot of questions, and the questions has also arisen, um, do, well, arose during media day up in Memphis about, well, what are you going to do without the likes of Car a player like Carmen Guzman? Um, yes, Carmen is a great loss, um, and we'll miss her tremendously, but we have a very veteran squad. We have an extremely veteran squad. We have, some, have players coming back that um, achieved a lot of game experience last season, and that was very important, very key. Um, and we're really excited about them coming back and, and what they're going to do to help this team um, get to the level where we want to <coughs> We always set our goals very high, and our main goal this season is to take care of business in the non-conference. We have a very tough non-conference schedule opening up on November 9th at Vanderbilt. Um, our first eight games will be on the road, and we will not play at home until December 5th. Um, and we are taking that on as a, as a challenge, and we're looking forward to that. Um, the players that are returning, um, as was mentioned, Crystal McFadden is coming back after uh, tearing her ACL last season. Um, she looks better than ever. She's very back. She's strong. She's going to give us a tremendous threat on the perimeter, on the offensive end, as well as the defensive end. Fatia Salam, who's a sophomore this year, um, gained quite a bit of playing experience last year since she started um, all, in all games except, except for one, I believe. Um, we have uh, a great senior crew coming back with the likes of Lakeitha Murray, Diamond Rogers, who was um, first, second team all-conference last year. She's preseason uh, Conference USA for this season. Um, uh, we also have Chris Ingram, who's back. And fortunately for us, Chris has been able to uh, complete a preseason, finally. The last three years that she's been here, she's been injured um, every preseason, believe it or not. And it has taken her a while to kind of catch up once the season started. But she looks great. She's running the floor unbelievably. Um, so that rounds out our seniors. Um, that junior class that's, that's coming back, we have Brittany Jones, um, as who also was as mentioned, was sixth player of the year last year. Um, Brittany's shooting percentage was down last year, but I guarantee it's going to be back up this, this season. Uh, she's taking on a different role. She's playing that point position primarily for us. But in terms of that point position, um, she'll play it, but we'll also be playing that point position by committee. Uh, we also have Brianna Berry, who's back after a knee injury. She sustained a knee injury um, in the second semester uh, in the spring last year, a, little, a slight tear in her ACL as well. Uh, so she's back. She looks great, working really, really hard. Uh, we have the likes of Amanda Scott. We have uh, Erica Simpson. Um, we have this, a great freshman crew that's come in that's going to contribute right away. I really, really like this team this year in terms of its versatility. Um, I felt last year uh, there was a lot of pressure on Carmen. Uh, there were a lot of games that you know, she pretty much had to put us on her back and kind of carry us. Um, this year that won't be the case. It won't be one player that uh, kind of has to carry, carry the load. We have a lot of versatility in that we have perimeter players uh, such as Diamond Rogers, Brianna Berry, and Erica Simpson that can also play inside and outside. They can legitimately play the three and the four spot. And that's really going to make us hard to defend. Two areas that we have to improve upon and improve upon very quickly um, will be the defensive end and the rebounding. <coughs> um, I think an interesting stat is that we finished second in Conference USA. We were last in terms of defense and also rebounding. We're the worst team in Conference USA in rebounding and in defense. So those are two areas that we've really been working hard on in practice and really striving toward um, to be a much better team at. Um, again, um, I'd like to say thanks, thanks to you all, media, for being here and for giving me this opportunity. And I look forward to speaking with you all individually. Thank you. Don't all speak at once. <laughs> To what extent are you counting on senior leadership 
Oh, that, that, that's huge, tremendously. Um, my seniors, uh, fifth, year senior, fifth year senior, Crystal McFadden, um, Diamond Rogers, Chris Ingram, and Lakeitha Murray, they have stepped up um, unbelievably. I was talking with them in individual meetings this week and told them that they have helped us help me get this program to where it, where it needs to be in terms of that leadership. They really embraced that leadership role and they started that in the postseason and in the summer with pulling those underclassmen along, telling them, hey, what we're going to do, we're going to work out every day at one o'clock, we're going to get stronger, we're going to get faster, we're going to be better. Um, and they have really done a good job in terms of um, helping to lead this team. Was uh Starting out on, with so many games on the road, was that by design or uh, just what the schedule fell? Well, you know, that was by design. I have to thank my, my wonderful uh, recruiting <laughs> recruiting coordinator and scheduling coach, uh, Coach Daryl Oliver. Um, with that, a couple of those games were returns. We opened with uh, Vanderbilt here last year. Um, Ole Miss was here last year. So quite a few of those games are returns, and it's just the way it worked out. And I think it's, it's going to work out to our advantage. Um, and, and, you know, we're, we're not the type of team that feels like, you know, oh, wow, we've got to go on the road, and we're intimidated by that in any way. Um, that, that definitely helps us and prepares us and gets us ready for conference play. Do you have any other questions for Coach Smith? 